morning, fabulous people. Oh my lord. And we should be good, ready to rumble. Okay, so in case you haven't noticed, there is a sign on the back of my wall and I've written it in back to front writing. I am really proud of this. I was writing it up this morning. Hey, Gary. I was writing it up this morning and my husband heard this like on my whiteboard wall and he's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm just writing up a thing. And he's like, how did you do that? Writing backwards. And I said, I am amazing. So that is how I did it. Hey, Beck, good morning. All right. So what I wanted to talk about this morning is a very interesting thing. Like, And you know, I know I've been guilty of this. Where I'm like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I just need to stop. I need to rest. I need to calm the fuck down. I need to just do whatever, right? And and we sometimes we can get to the point where it's just like we're tools down. And it can be really hard to, I guess, find that extra zing. But here's the thing. And I noticed this in the gym this morning. I was I was working out and doing my thing and, and I was like oh my gosh I'm getting a bit tired and I was like no stop it and it was like these chest presses right so we're lying on a bench and you've got the bar and we're like chest pressing like this I'm like oh my god my arms feel like they're gonna fall off they were shaking and I was like Ugh. and I was realized I, I was realized you, you get my point I realized that the dialogue that was going on in my head was like Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, I'm gonna have to put my weights down and rah rah rah. Nope, 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 nope. That's not true. So what I did was I've gone, I, and I actually was lying on my bench saying this. I'm like, this is easy. This is easy. And like these freaking things were the opposite of easy, right? But somehow or another, I found a way to access and activate this extra bit oh my god there's someone at the door come with me take your love live i was gonna say live television take your love live live streams hang on a second hold on oh. hi how are you going Not too bad. oh i've got a delivery how exciting <laughs> sorry can you hang on to that for me i'm just that's amazing Great. thank you Thanks. have a good day i wonder what's in the parcel how exciting a FedEx parcel. What the heck? Wait, do you know when you get deliveries that you can't even remember what you've ordered? It's really funny, huh? So there you go. And I wonder what that is. Mm, I don't know. Something from somewhere. Something amazing. Something amazing. Kind of. Oh, I know what this is. You guys want to see this. This is. I reckon this is my coffee machine so i am a coffee fiend right? i love coffee and then i'm gonna get into the second win and the second win and the third win and the 25th fucking win doesn't come from caffeine it actually comes from a conscious choice right but caffeine is a very excellent and amazing part of my day and i'm not even addicted it's just like the thing i think this is a coffee machine god if i had some scissors you guys it would be so much better so anyway while i'm opening this i'll um get to the point of today so what we find is that there is always a way to tap into and access more energy yeah at that that second third fourth 25th 97,000th uh, wind when we're doing what it is that we're doing. So I think it's all about, no, no, I think what I know is that it's all about working out how you are going to be able to access this second, third, fourth, 25th wind. Oh, this, you guys, is a rechargeable espresso machine. This ended up being an advertisement for this now presso thing. So here's what you do. Like, you know your um, Nespresso coffee pods. You put your coffee pod in this bottom bit down here, right? Coffee pod. You put that in there. And then you put, you can put boiling water in the top. And then you press this button and it does all of the magical things that is coffee. It's freaking amazing. Um, I've had one and it... <laughs> 
<laughs> and it stopped working. So I got in touch with the manufacturer and they've sent me a replacement. Oh, it's amazing. I'm going to be taking, I take this type of thing, I take this with me everywhere I go. So whether it's a roller derby trip, whether it's to the States, to like events, whatever, comes with, this comes with me. So that's really exciting. It's called Now Presso. Uh, not a paid advertisement. <laughs> it is just definitely something that I think is really important. So one thing that you can do really quickly to change this, uh, oh my God, I feel like I'm dying, is to catch yourself really fucking quickly, right, In when you're with your self-talk. Okay, so me like, oh my God, this is really hard. I'm going to have to put my weights. No, 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 this is easy. This is easy. And even while it was still hurting a little bit, I somehow was able to actually like relax my neck. I was able to relax my jaw and got through the whole entire chest track with heavier weights on than I think I've ever done before. Okay, so what I've been really focused on, and I think the thing that would be helpful for you guys is I'm like, I'm not, I, I'm wanting, I'm always looking to grow, right? I'm always looking to get better. I'm also always looking to get stronger. And one thing that I've really focused on is where's the extra 20%? So is it an extra 20% in weights at the gym? Is it an extra 20% in my energy that I'm putting out to you guys? Hey, Carol, is it? an extra 20% in in my blogs that I put out, an extra 20% in posts, an extra 20% in the offers. How can I give 20% more? And I think that 20% is is an easy-ish thing to lift by, right? It's not it's, it's not about going and doubling what you're doing or 10 times in what it is that you're doing. We're just looking for that extra 20%. And then what happens is that your body and your energy actually recalibrate up to that up-leveled level if you like and then it's like okay like how can I find an extra 20% and then you'll find that and then how can I find an extra 20% and what you will find is that you grow a lot faster you grow a lot quicker and you will find more energy I promise you so that extra 20% that was another thing that I was going through I'm like 20% 20% and I'm like 20% gains in my arms please I want Jennifer Lopez's arms on like, I literally like want her arms. I want to have arms like her. Have you seen her arms lately? They are freaking hot, man. She's just such a, such an inspiration. And I'm just like, yeah, JLo arms, JLo arms, JLo arms. I've got this, I've got this. An extra 20%, like I'm growing, I'm growing. So that's one thing, like really getting really clear and, and, and measuring your self-talk really, really quickly and adjusting the internal dialogue of what it is that you're saying to yourself over and over and over again because it's either going to empower you or it's going to disempower you. It's either going to help you find that extra wind or it's going to knock you, it's going to give you every reason and every excuse and every validation to stop, play small, uh, calm the fuck down and, you know, just settle. I guess, and I think that if you guys are anything like me, which I know that you are, then we don't settle for good. We probably don't even sell, uh, settle for excellent. I, I know for me, the thing that I, I don't even want to settle, but the thing that, I, uh, that I'm really going for is, is, is amazing, is excellent, is epic, actually. So it's epic. Is this epic? Is this driving me towards epic results? So like, think about that. Another thing that you can do is play your music fucking loud, right? So if, you, if you're feeling a bit tired, and, and so we did this last night actually with the kids and the night before, it was really fun. Hey, Joe. so we, we've got uh, one, of, one of my daughters has got a friend over at the moment and we've organized dinner. I was really hastily punching out the, the technology integrations for the national tour that is happening in November. You can go to nicolamorais.com.au forward slash events to learn more about that and to sign up for two days of amazingness for $497. Um, it's just, it's, I think I need my head red, but anyway. So I was pushing out the technology to get all of that sorted and, and get that really clear and work out the dates and, and get all of that done. And so my husband is like messaging me, like literally texting me saying dinner's ready and then I could hear the yelling from the other side of the house and just like I'm just doing this I'm just doing this so by the time I think it was about 7 15 which doesn't happen very often these days like my eyes are like Ugh. and it's not just because I've 
got no eyelashes left. Like I felt like my eyes were hanging out of my head. They're getting fixed today though, so it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. So I've gone over the other side, we've eaten dinner and we're all kind of feeling like it was just sort of like not amped, right? Not elevated, not in this really beautiful high vibe kind of state that I know is really awesome and conducive for great conversations and for things like that. So we've decided, my husband and I have decided that we're having like a five minute dance party. So we've turned up the music and we've just started like making silly moves, doing crazy things. And then we kind of like handball the moves. So I started off like jumping around like hands in the air and doing crazy things, clapping, happy clapping. And then we've gone to my husband, he's gone and done a move. And then we've gone to my son. It's like, okay, Jake, it's your turn to, your turn to make it like, make a move. Like, let's, what is it that we're going to do? What are we going to do? And then we've gone to Esri, who's our 13 year old on Saturday. Hey, Amanda. It's like, okay, it's your turn. It's your turn. Like, what are you going to do? Now, what was really interesting was her friend was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to do it. And then a couple of minutes in, she's gotten up and she's starting to move and she's starting to dance with us. And we all look like it. I actually said to her, I've gone, you were going to be those parents. You remember this when you were a kid, right? The parents of your friends who you thought were either crazy or grumpy or amazing or whatever. I said, you were going to remember us for the rest of your life. You will remember Esri's parents being completely crazy and completely silly and just, you know, laughing and happy people. I hope you will remember this for the rest of your whole entire life. And I was just, and then she's like, <laughs> but I don't know about you. Can you remember the friends, like the, the parents of the friends that you had in either primary school or high school that made a really big impact on you? You know, I remember one of my friend's parents were really quite liberal with um, what they allowed their daughter to do. And my parents were reasonably strict, but I remember the feeling of being in their house was kind of um, subdued. Right? And then another friend of mine, actually another friend of mine would come around to our house all the time. My dad is a notorious dad joke teller, which is, you know, also another part of my personality. I love bad dad jokes. I love great dad jokes. I think they're just fucking hilarious. And I laugh even if nobody else is laughing. I, I crack me up. And, and I remember my friend, like she, she'll always, like even if she's following up, she's like, oh, so, you know, how's your dad? How's your mum? Right? And, and like this is years later, my parents had a big impact on my friends when I was a kid. So I was kind of like, you know what, this is a really cool thing. Like I really hope, I think everybody should implement this in their life, in their, in their, in their parenting, in their day, get lost fly, in their world. And it's a really freaking easy thing, you know. Um, I remember talking years and years and years ago, and this has been like obviously refreshed in my head following on from this event we're at over the weekend. But motion creates emotion, right? And so even though we know this, if, but if you pump the music up and if you get your body moving, then you will find that extra, not just like that little bit of extra energy, but you'll find that like there's a massive amount of energy. And that is the thing that then gets your brain working, it gets you smiling, it gets your, it gets your juices flowing, right? And it's a really awesome way to create really easy, quick connection and connectivity with your kids um, and your partners, obviously. So I really would very strongly recommend you be super aware of your self-talk. What are you telling yourself? Are you telling yourself when you wake up in the morning that you're too tired? Happiness is a choice, energy is a choice. I, I know I've shared with you guys a number of times before, but I remember the first time I really had this very strong conscious awareness that how I feel is, is I can control how I feel. And it was back in 2014 and I decided that myself and my family, so it wasn't just for me, it was like myself and my family were going to go for morning walks every single morning. And I think I might have talked with you guys about this perhaps last week, but anyway, I'll refresh. So I was like, this is what we're going to do, guys. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to get our bodies moving in the morning before we go to school. And this happened religiously for years and years and years. The only reason it's changed is that at the moment I'm running a 30-day challenge, which we've got the next round starting in two weeks or a week and a half. 
um, message me if you're curious about that. But I jump on a call with clients at 6 a.m. in the morning and we were on the phone for about an hour on, on a live stream for about an hour. And then from there, I go to the gym with Dom. So Dom's my husband, Dominic's my husband and off we go and you know, we go to the gym. But I remember this particular day, it's like I've woken up and I was like, fuck this. I don't want to go for a walk. It's like quarter to seven. So it was like late by, you know, the, the Nicola 2.0 version, you know, 2019 version of Nicola. And it's like, oh, my feet hit the floor. And I was like, I think Dom and I had potentially maybe had words the night before or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it was hard getting the kids up. I can't remember. But I was, re I remember being really grumpy. And so we've walked out our side gate, which then gets us out onto the footpath. And I was just like, all right, Nick, you know, this is ridiculous. You know, why are you so, why are you so pissed off? Why are you so grumpy? Like shoulders back, girlfriend, snap the fuck out of it. And remember, you know, put a smile on your face. So I was like, it was like a freaking smile that you have ever seen, but it was so fucking big that I've just gone, this, I felt like an idiot. And then it's just like, happiness is a choice. Like flick the switch, make it happen. And so there I am walking down the street with my fake smile on until Dom looked at me. He's like, what the hell is going on? I'm like, happiness is a choice. I'm really happy. I'm so happy. I'm really happy. So he was laughing at me and then I'm laughing at him, laughing at me. And then the kids are just doing the kid thing and, you know, carrying on and being silly and funny. But it was really, it was a really profound moment and I felt my whole body actually kind of like snap and click into place so happiness is always a choice there is always something to be happy about there is always something to be grateful about now I know I've been a person as I've shared with you guys in blogs before I've been a person who has suffered in the past from anxiety I've been someone who has at different times in my life and my world found it really hard to get out of bed for multitudes of different reasons, not just because I've been tired, but more like mental stuff. So I understand that sometimes it can feel like, yeah, it's easy for you to say, Nicola, you know, it's easy for everybody. Like it's easy for these people who have got their shit together or making money or who have clients or who have got like bo seemingly boundless amounts of energy or like whatever, whatever, whatever. I understand that sometimes it can feel like it's really hard. So what I want you to do is turn the music up as loud as you can go in your own house, in your own home. And even if it's only for five or 10 minutes, find a great piece of music, not a depressing piece of music, not a piece of music that makes you wanna cry, not a piece of music that reminds you of uh, love lost or of opportunities past or whatever. It's like high vibe, high beat, deep freaking bass music, like almost techno. I Like I was a, a techno clubber. I love the shit out of it. And it's like, I would go, I remember going to the clubs and if there was a, a big speaker that was accessible, I was the person that would always go and stand in front of the speaker so that I could feel the bass reverberating through my body because I just loved the way that it felt. And so turn your music up, get moving. Even if you feel like you look like an idiot, you know what, you probably will look like an idiot, but who the fuck cares, right? And I promise you, if you do that for 10 minutes a day, right, 10 minutes every single day, treat it like an experiment and just see what happens. See if your mood shifts, see if your, your self-talk can shift, see what it is that you can do and, and achieve. And I think that's a really great way that is um, able to be accessed at any point in time for you to be able to find that extra energy. Now, you might be someone who's even more like naturally like me. I am naturally energetic. I've always been called an energizer bunny. I've always been just highly motivated and driven. And for a long time, I felt a bit bad and a bit guilty about that because everyone's like, oh, I don't know how you do it. Like, I don't know how you have so much energy. And I'm like, it's, it's just, it's, it's actually, it's just who I am. It's just part of my nature. But you can also grow into being someone who is like that as well. Like it's not, it's not unaccessible or it's not inaccessible, whatever the word for that is. Like you can actually build that in. It's again, it's a choice. Right? Everything is a choice. So that's my little motivation, like rah rahness for today. Uh, if you like that, and if you want to come and hang out in the room with me in our national tour, 
I was reminded it doesn't include Tasmania. Sorry, Tasmania. Um, it, it, yeah, I'm not coming to Tasmania. <laughs> we'll go, and then I'm not going to Darwin, but we're going everywhere else. So Melbourne, Sydney, Gold Coast, Perth, Adelaide. Um, that is where we are going. So if you want to come in the room, that would be really awesome. NicolaMarice.com.au forward slash events is where you will find the information for that. Over those two days, you will have your, your marketing plan for 2020. You'll have your content sorted for 2020. You'll have your message sorted. You'll know exactly what you need to do, when you need to do it, how you need to do it. Most importantly though, I think most importantly, it's going to be done from a place of where you can really see and fucking own your level of uniqueness so that you can really position your point of difference out into the landscape. So that's going to be um, what we're doing on our national tour. So I'm really excited to help you with that. Um, $497 for two days. Like, I, that's just, to me, that's just insane. Uh, Rock your startup is starting today. So if you want to hang out for the next 21 days, getting the foundations built for your business, talking about marketing, systemization, all of that kind of stuff, that does start today. We've got the first call happening literally in 35 minutes. If you can't make it on in 35 minutes, it will be recorded. And I would very much love to... Oh, thanks, Jess. I would very much love to um, uh, help you with that as well if you're curious about that. Uh, we're talking about like webinars and all the things that I've done um, over the years. We also have round four of our 30 day challenge starting on Monday week. And what that looks like is you and me and a small intimate group of people every morning at 6 a.m. Sydney time, we all hop on a call and we just, we work out, right? What is it that you're focusing on today? What questions have you got? What help do you need? Okay, here's your marching orders. Like, off you go, get your shit out there. Let's go make stuff happen. And then you've got the accountability because the very next day, you're. I'm going to say to you, so how did you go yesterday? What were your insights? What are you committed to doing today? Um, what we got called though, there was like the Nicola kick that happened uh, this morning. It was quite funny. One of my clients, Tess, who's been in every round this year, actually, she's like, oh, that was a, that was a bit of a Nicola kick. I said, oh, yeah, that's what happens. Uh, and then we've got the live-in retreat that's happening as well. There's one happening in November and there is one happening in February. You'll see that also on the nicolamorass.com.au forward slash events page. So there you go, everybody. There is a, if you haven't got any of my free stuff, there is a ton of free stuff on that website. There are blogs, a plenty um, video blogs. There's like all of that. There's so many resources and things in there. So jump in there and help yourself. It is Nicola Alicart. Meanwhile, remember that you can always access your second wind. You can always access more passion. You can always access more power. You can always access inner motivation, inner inspiration. It's just about you. Number one, choosing that this is what you want to do. It's also about number two, being really freaking clear on it being a not negotiable. Shoulders back, girlfriend, own that stance and get out there and get it. And bottom line, remember, the reason that we're doing all of this is so that we can help you to help more people, right? And the world is ready for your brand of awesomeness. So get out there, go stake your freaking claim and go have a whole shit ton of fun. I'm going to talk with you tomorrow, of course, because... You know, every day is a great day to talk to you. So I'm going to be chatting with you tomorrow. I've got a bit of a, a more open day tomorrow. So we will be live and on time at 11. Meanwhile, have a great day. If you've got any questions about anything, let me know. Jess, I will go and fix that button uh, for the, the Perth order form. That's a little annoying. And let's go see what we can, what magic we can make. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.